In this video, I'm going to take you through a beginner's guide to matrix port, showing you how to deposit, trade and earn interest on your crypto. For more information on matrix port, please check out everybethelps.io. First up a little bit about matrix port. So matrix port was created in 2019 by serial blockchain entrepreneur Yi Han Wu, who also founded Bitmain, the world's leading manufacturer of digital currency mining servers, and who also launched Bit.com, a cryptocurrency derivatives exchange. Since its launch, matrix port has reached some pretty staggering numbers in its first three years, with recent records showing over $700 million in outstanding loans, 10 billion in assets under custody, and $5 billion in trading volume. Matrix Port is a one-stop digital assets financial services platform where users can invest, trade, and leverage crypto assets. For those that are brand new to crypto, you can also buy crypto with the likes of credit card or via bank wire. You can swap or trade it with spot or leverage trading at zero fees, then deposit your crypto to earn an interest, which you can do in a variety of different ways depending on the level of risk that you want to take. So let's jump in and take a look. For those of you that are brand new to Matrix Port, I'll have my link in the summary below. And Matrix Port has a welcome offer for new users who can also receive up to $55 for completing simple newcomer tasks. And there's a 1,288 USDC free trial offer and an exclusive 30% APY on their fixed income product, which I'm going to show you during the walkthrough. Matrix Port is only available as a mobile app on the likes of Google Play or the App Store. For the purposes of this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you this all on my iPhone, so I'm going to download that via the App Store. To sign up for an account with Matrix Port, you will need to provide your mobile number or an email address. Or if you've already got a bit.com account like I have, you can use the same credentials without the need to have to go through the whole process again. And you'll need to go through a basic level KYC to be able to use functions such as withdrawing from Matrix Port, which you can find under the Me tab in the bottom right hand corner. You can also access your welcome rewards and see the steps that you'll need to take to start to earn those. An important part of Matrix Port is the fact that it comes in two different modes, which is either light or pro. The light option caters for beginners and it takes away any of the noise so that you just have the simple surfaces that you can enjoy, such as being able to invest, deposit, and you can also view your wallet and create some simple swaps. Pro, on the other hand, has a lot more different options. From the Home tab, we can see all the different features or services from the center, which include their dual currency, smart trend, fixed income, fund, loan staking, and leverage, etc. Then if you scroll down the page, you can see all the different options in a little bit more detail. Now, because there's so much included in Matrix Port, we're not going to have time to cover everything today. So essentially, what we're going to do is take you through a beginner's guide to depositing your funds, buying or swapping or trading your crypto, then how you can start to earn some passive income on it. So let's head over to the wallet tab now so that we can start to deposit our funds. And you can deposit in three different ways. If you already have some crypto that you'd like to deposit or start trading or earning interest with, you can simply select the crypto from the list and choose deposit. Then you can either scan the QR code or you can find your wallet address for this crypto underneath and then you can copy that and paste that into another platform or another wallet to make your deposit. Just make sure though that when you are sending crypto, you're sending this on the correct network. Some cryptos, in this example USDT, can be transferred on multiple networks, so it will depend on the platform that you're sending from. Because in the world of crypto, transactions are non-retractable. Sometimes if you're nervous, it might be worth sending a smaller test amount first before you send across all of your crypto. And there's a minimum deposit here of one USD. The second option to fund your account if you don't already have some crypto to deposit is via bank wire or bank transfer. Now just be aware that this is a USD bank account, but if like me you hold the likes of a Revolut account, you might be able to connect this type of account to transfer dollars. Then you can send across your USD to Matrixport and you'll receive USDC directly into your Matrixport wallet. 
and this service is free, but just be aware that your local bank may charge you transfer fees. To transfer your funds in this way, you'll need to add a bank account, provide some bank account information and upload a bank statement for verification. Then the third and final way, for example if you don't have any crypto or access to a USD account, is to buy crypto with QuickBuy using a credit card or you can also bank wire in this way. However, fees and waiting times will be associated, especially with USD, although SEPA for Euros is free. And you'll need to complete KYC Level 2 to use this service. Also, just note that some credit cards may charge you transaction fees, but this won't be the cheapest way to buy your crypto, as you are dictated to by the rate that's defined by this service. But it's also a very convenient way of funding your account with crypto. I'm just going to go ahead now and send some Bitcoin across to my account. Then once your transfer is completed, these will display in your wallet under Total Assets. Underneath the option to buy, deposit, swap and view your history, you have the option of auto top up to current. This is where your balance will be automatically transferred to a savings product so that you're instantly earning interest on your crypto. And this will be in a flexi savings or a staking product if that's available. When we press on to a specific crypto from your wallet, here is where you can deposit and find your wallet address for that particular crypto. And you can withdraw or transfer, which we're going to come back to at the end, or you can view the history. It then shows a list of all the different interest earning options that are available for this specific crypto. But what if you deposit Bitcoin and you can get better rates on stable coins like USDT? In this case, you can use Matrix Port to trade with to get the crypto or the stable coin that you want, and you can do this all at zero fees. So let's take a look at trading. With Matrix Port, there are lots of trading options available where you can create limit orders, which allow you to specify the price that you'd like to buy or sell your crypto at. You can create a simple swap at the current market price. Create long or short with leverage. Sell above market or auto invest when the price of Bitcoin in this example is lower than a specific value. We're going to keep it simple today and just create a simple swap between the two. And in here, I simply just need to enter in the amount that I'd like to swap and agree to the T's and C's and confirm. And the crypto that you swap for will then immediately be available from within your wallet. So let's choose our USDT that we've now traded for. And under invest, first we're going to take a look at current. This is where you can view their flexi savings account, where the rate is currently at 4.91%. When I press onto that, it then provides all the different rates that are available for flex savings, which has no deposit limits and where you can withdraw your crypto at any time. So as you can see, the best rates here are currently for either USDC or USDT. But what if I want to achieve better rates than this? Well, in this case, you might want to try their fixed term products. And these are split between DeFi, fixed income or smart trend. With DeFi, there are a few high quality projects that you can deposit into. Fixed income allows new users to earn 30% on their USDT over eight days with a minimum deposit of 300 USDT. Or you can also view the rates, the number of days, which is how long you need to deposit your crypto for, and the minimum deposits available for each different product. And the rates will increase here the longer that you deposit your crypto for. Then finally, there's something called advanced investing. This is where their dual currency comes into effect. And this is a short term investment product where you could potentially receive some very high returns and you deposit your stable coin and then receive either more Bitcoin or USDC at expiry. And these all have different interest rates and expiry dates and link dates, which are an important factor. If I choose one of these, you'll see that with the settlement calculator and dual currencies, it's all based on the linked price that you've selected. On the expiry, if the price of Bitcoin weakens against USD and it goes below the linked price, you'll get paid in BTC. However, if it rallies and the price is above, you'll get paid in USDC. So you'll get your yield. However, the only uncertainty is whether or not you're going to receive Bitcoin or USDC, depending on where BTC USD stands on the expiry date. So what I'll do now is I'm just going to quickly show you how you can create one of these fixed income deposits. So as you can see, I can get that 30% for new users. However, I will need to deposit 300 USDT. 
So what I'm going to do is I would like to deposit for a shorter term at 14 days, which I'm going to get at 4.5%. And it will show me some key dates in here, some basic rules and questions. And then I can go ahead and deposit now. Well, I'll then need to enter in the amount that I'd like to deposit, or I can choose max. And I'll then receive a risk warning once I've agreed to the terms and conditions. And then I can go ahead and deposit. And as you can see, that was a really simple way of depositing my funds to earn an interest on them. But what if you want to withdraw? Well, that's the final part that we're going to take a look at today. If you're looking to withdraw cryptocurrency, simply head across to your wallet and choose the crypto that you'd like to withdraw. Then you can select the appropriate network to the address that you're going to be sending your crypto to. For example, with USDT, this can be an ERC20 or TRC20 address. And you'll need to copy that address or scan the QR code from the wallet or the exchange or the other platform that you're sending your crypto across to. Again, you'll want to ensure that you've entered in the correct address exactly here, just in case you've made a mistake. Then you enter in the amount that you'd like to withdraw. And here you'll find any minimum withdrawal amounts, which is 2 USDT in this case. And you'll get one free withdrawal per month. Alternatively, you can also withdraw stablecoins as USD back to your bank account via bank transfer in the same way as depositing. And as I said, there is a lot more to Matrix Port than the basics that we've covered today. If there are any other sections of the app that you'd like us to cover, please let us know in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks and I'll see you soon.